I'm up at my favourite Kmart and we always like to take a look at the naughty area. Let's see what's been manipulated in store. Oh, it never fails to impress. Look at this here. I shouldn't laugh, but I can only laugh because there's no use in crying. Warning. This video is made for a general audience. It may contain adult themes, consumer advice, and information that can be enjoyed by all ages. I need to say this because, sadly, the YouTube systems are totally dumb ass. I would say that whoever has been up here has been disturbed. It looks like they're going to take some sunglasses, a bit of clothing there. A lot of these, is it laugh out loud toys? But, but the weird part is there's bits left behind. This is the thing that I don't understand. This one's really perplexed me. Okay, so there's, man, they've got into a lot of these. And I also notice, well, there's a, one thing I've noticed here. Look, there is a style of RFID tag here. So once this has been ripped off, you can just walk out with the contents. Okay, and I've also, you can see, and it's down here. That's a creepy edit, okay, uh, because we're going to focus, uh, what's this here? What is all this here? Oh, it just keeps coming. Uh... Am I surprised by this? No, not at all. I can almost predict exactly what's going to go on here. I don't know that much about Pokemon stuff, but I do know this stuff gets hooked from store. It's often near the cash registers. So I can only assume this has been removed from the cash reg register area and taken down to the back of dark and reclusive part of the store. So that's there. And look, I, I cannot get my head around why these have been nicked. Okay, this is the second time I've seen the Laugh Out Loud toys stolen on mass like this, it just perplexed me. It's really, really strange to witness. And whoever's doing this is extremely comfortable and confident with what they're up to. There's all these mini foods here. I'm not exactly sure whether they're a Laugh Out Loud toy. I'm not that keyed into this anymore because I don't look at this rubbish on YouTube anymore because YouTube is so aggressive against any producers looking at this. It, uh, it looks like those little mini shop things that were collectibles in Australia. Although, I think these are American brands. Foodie mini brands. Yeah, I, I knew nothing about this. I'm sure people who watch this rubbish uh, know more about this than me. It was disturbing me the doll had no head, but then when I came out like this and I had a bit of a peruse around the area here, and if I go up... We'll see something maybe a little bit creepy up the top of that box. That's frippin' spooky. Who in the frippin' hell does stuff like this? It just makes zero sense to me. It doesn't make any sense at all. I'm trying to make some sense of this madness and I'm thinking back to the toys that I used to look at on YouTube and the way people collected them. And what you were after was the ultra rare type things, the special things. Maybe they were gold or whatever else, but it was made out that these things were special and often they could be flogged online for a lot of money and I think that's what's going on here. So whoever's come in here, they've just been after those special items that could possibly be here and we'll take a bit of a look at all the things I've assembled there and that's what they've left behind. Yeah, maybe you get excited by that or maybe you don't. I just come to the toy area where the stuff's been manipulated in store. It's the girly zone, all this sort of stuff and the Foodies mini brands is on the other side here. It's down quite low. So I'm putting my arm down here. This would be like the height of a three-year-old here. So if I was a little three-year-old, I'd get, oh baby, can I have a foodie mini brand? <laughs> but I think uh, the people who are getting into this are not three-year-olds at the back because it's up fairly high. Uh, nevertheless, here they are here. Uh, they're $10 a pop. I they say they're damn free if you're pulling them apart in store and walking off with the goodies. The box here says new ultra rare frozen moments minis. I suppose these are the ones you want to grab. You can flog them for God knows how much online. On each box there's an example of the small collectible that you're going to get when you get into these. But I noticed in this box here, guess what? That one's been manipulated out of the box. These have got an RFID tag as part of the labeling there. And this is also another clue to why they're being undone in store. So if you get rid of the labeling here, well, then everything else inside can be easily pulled out of store. Yeah, that seems to be what's going on. I'm very behind in this sort of stuff. There's mini brand stuff here everywhere. I didn't notice it's mini fashion. So it all looks the same to me because it's all very similar marked boxes. There's more up there. And if I go up even higher, there it is there again. 
but what I notice here and what disturbs me, I can't stand this. Look here, and if you look here, someone's left their McDonald's Chicken McNuggets box here. I mean, that's just frippin' disgusting. Totally disgusting, and guess what? I'm just gonna put it right back there. The more I looked into these Foodies Mini Brands collectibles, the more curious I became. And sometimes you'll have people collect these things and they start to get like a collector's bug. And sometimes they want to collect, but they don't have the money to do so. And of course, amongst these collectibles, there are the rarer ones as well. Maybe rare is a very overused term in the toy industry. But if something's deemed rare and then you flog it on eBay, you can command extremely high prices. And once I started to see the dynamic of the prices online, the wacko shoplifting started to make sense. For me to land one of these rarer foodies mini brands in Australia, and it's coming from the USA, it's going to cost me up near $100 Australian because I've got the postage to pay and also a stupid exchange rate that's going to whack me in the face. If I understood what rare means in these collectibles, well, maybe $100 is cheap. Who knows, it could be worth $10,000 in a few years' time. So I think I understand a dynamic going on there, but maybe the part I don't understand is what were you going to do with $10 El Cheapo sunglasses? Well, that one's busted. This is the part I don't understand. There's multiple sets here, and there's also a piece of clothing, and an $8 piece of clothing of a large size. That doesn't make sense, but this now does. I've got my son with me and he's witnessing all this and he pointed out to me something and I think I've had people on YouTube point out this when we've discovered Pokemon stuff which has been manipulated in the store. He said this is a special card. Uh, I don't know my Pokemon stuff. He said, why have they left this behind? So uh, yeah, I'm going to trust him on that. That is a total mystery why it's still here. Sometimes I get a big surprise of what gets walked out of the store. And look here, they've got steering wheel covers. There's a plastic hub, in a sense, that holds the cover on. Well, there's a plastic hub here, and there's no cover attached. So someone's decided to take the steering wheel cover off the hub, which is the display hub that hooks up in the store, and they've taken the cover off, and they've left the hub behind. I dare say, put the cover around their neck, walk straight out the store, and this is what's left. Disgusting behavior, totally disgusting. This looks mighty suspicious. It's a gaming mouse pad with wireless charger. Well, someone's got one for free by the looks of it. And this makes no sense, and it always seems to make no sense. And this is how petty and ridiculous it gets in my local Kmart when it comes to shoplifters. There's a leather chamois cloth here. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you how much it is in a sec. And there's, what was that there? Made in China, Anko something. Might have been a bit of jewellery or something. Okay, oh, I just don't understand that there. Let me tell you how much this is. Here's a leather chamois here. How much is it? $7. And I'm still in pet zone and I'm finding more manipulated stock. Are we surprised? No. Will anything change? No. And what this looks like, I just have a peruse here. Okay, well I think this is going to tell me more. Okay, there's a set of earphones, classic style, lightning style. So that'd be crapple, wouldn't it? Uh, of course, the item's been taken out of packaging. And of course, that's that theft proof packaging that they've just broken into. And they've just left the remnants behind. And of course, the thieves get away with the stuff scot free. I'm in the auto section of this Kmart that's got a massive problem with things getting fiddled and diddled in store. And this really caught my attention it's down really low which is curious I'm down on the lowest level of the shelving here and it's when I move that dun 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 quite a selection of things here my son says to me was that $17 that card like I always got his there you go how do you know that you just got a google one so I sort of wonder why is it left here this is the mystery to you know the Pokemon stuff seems to be left there's a whole deck of cards here there's a staffer that I know in this store, and I might just package this up and get this over to them. Okay, you can see what's there. That's the packaging there. Uh, a commander thing here. This is something that holds things up on walls for you. So it's a mixed bag of things getting hoiked. 
and look at this here. I've just unpackaged this. There's more stuff here. Okay, just it just it's the worst I've ever seen. Okay, and this is a great example of just how random it can get. But I've got it to some car accessories here as well. But what I've done, I'm doing the right thing. I've packaged it all up into a box here and I will get this to the staffer that I speak to about problems in the store. I'm sure she'll be delighted getting this. And the problem with this part of the store is very simple. There's not a camera inside. I'm just perusing the ceiling area here. Going over the area where I see a lot of the stuff which gets manipulated in store. Not a camera. Well, this one's a clanger. I don't know how they've got away with this one, but it looks like they have. Empty box. Okay, they pulled out the light fitting. This isn't a small item, and the remnants of what was in there is down here. Unbelievable. Now that there's garden hose, but what's next to the garden hose is a little bit more sinister. Okay, another display of thievery in store. It's quite curious. It looks like someone's been disturbed here because there is some things here which have been left behind. Uh, there's stuff here which is obviously gone. Okay, looks like an iPhone 13 Pro Max, whatever screen. And some Roblox toys. They've left the box behind. So the toy inside is gone. I don't know, it's sort of saying to me this is more children doing this. Uh, another thing about this here is it's actually set quite low. So I've got my arm going down like that to that level there. Oh, in the car accessories area, this is a bit of a hot zone in this door. And guess what? Up at quite adult height, I'm seeing this which is quite disturbing looks like another is it the screen protector for a phone an iphone 11 there okay it's gone there's a wire spider here so whatever that was wrapped around is now outside of store i'd say something fairly small going by the way that spider is set and there's this here so they obviously do some swimming as well quite a mixed bag of bad boy goodness very much said at adult height, that one. Hmm. My son found this incredibly fun Chris Kringle thing. Uh, it's a Titanic, obviously, of iceberg, and it's going to look far more awesome in slow motion. Totally awesome. Only nine dollars came out. Best value ever. I'm in the pet area because I like looking at the pet stuff and sometimes you see the stranger. Oh, I can't stand this. You see that there? Who leaves their rubbishy drinks? Could you work out who's done this? You could actually because look there's a time on this. I mean how dumb ass is that? They've left that char time thing there and a, a McFlurry. These are really not McFlurries anymore because they used to have like a an air pump system that flurried them. That's why they were called McFlurries, but that's just filthy, filthy behaviour. And I, I see it all the time. Disgusting. I always find this quite curious. As you can see, I'm in basically the infant's toy area and you will find things like this. This is basically found on the other side of store and you say to yourself why is it here and I would say it's in the process of being manipulated out of the store that's the best way I can say it okay that's a baby shark toy obviously I'm still in the toy area but it's what's next to the baby shark in that direction is what I sort of don't understand when it comes to people flogging stuff um, some trunks Okay, the bigger packaging is there. Uh, this is the sleeve, which would be the details. Trunks classic, there would have been five all up, so it looks like they've taken three, if I've got my maths right. So there's two left behind. And I see this all the time. It's really pathetic style of shoplifting, and it's extremely common. Just as an abstract giggle in this video, and I only found this because a shopper came along here, looked at this pack and said, I'm not touching that, it's got a broken one in there. That alerted my attention. Well, the broken one's missing a whole wheel. It looks like a factory error, like they just haven't put a wheel on. I'm just saying it looks like it hasn't been opened up. That's a keeper in my mind. Imagine the money that could pull on eBay. I'm sure you're wondering, what about those Hot Wheels 20 packs that were being heavily shoplifted and broken into? 
this is one of the packs that has had 10 cars removed. So it's for sale with 10 cars for a price of $20 down from 39. And I think, look, if it was say a price of $10, I'd be quite happy with that. I don't quite understand how it still held its price. But what's behind this, just let me put this to the side, is some new stock of the 20 packs. And I really wonder how long this will last before someone gets into these as well. That is, if it's got the special cars in here that have been the ones which seem to have been picked off. I think that seems to be the main driving force of what's going on there. Now, of course, I will put things back as it was. And I sort of had a bit of a chuckle because right next to the spot, and that's nice and square there, is this here. So whatever this was, it's been manipulated and whatever was in there is now gone. I think, and I'm only guessing here, it's a Minecraft toy. Um, please forgive me if I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like. There's something I've learned about the 20 packs and it relates back to why it hasn't got a wire spider on it. And I learned this from a staff person in this Kmart and it comes back to the price. The price of the 20 packs are $39. Now the wire spider price point is anything $40 and above seems to be what triggers the need for a wire spider and I think the blue dot means it needs a wire spider but it's weird the argument point that $40 is a price point for the wire spider I see well things that are under $40 here that have got the wire spider on them I see a blue dot here and there's more examples of it here as well how much is that pack there $35 and there's a, a blue dot as well what you saw in this video is from one Kmart over two consecutive days. I know exactly where to look in the store to find things that have been manipulated. I speak to some staff there and they're very aware of what's going on. In fact, we often have giggles about what's found in store, which has been pulled apart. As I babble on here, I'll show you some historical video from 2022 of the Hot Wheels 20 packs that were played with in this same store. A staff person I spoke to had a theory that this stuff which is being stolen in store is being flicked online. It's purely someone making a quick buck online. The staff see a lot more versus what I see because they're there a lot more of the time and they see the same things. That is Pokemon cards, mobile phone accessories, small electrical devices, anything collectible in the toy realm and of course those menacing Hot Wheels vehicles. But honestly, anything's up for grabs. And sometimes it looks like to me people are going in there and they've got some wacko shopping list and they're basically fulfilling that shopping list by grabbing things for nothing. One thing the staff people I speak to and I both agree with is something's happened in 2022 from let's say Easter onwards that has made the shoplifting in this store very, very focused and very intensive. And this could be connected to something as simple as the cost of living going through the roof. We've all seen, no matter where you live in the world, the prices of the everyday things that you buy skyrocketing. There may be other factors as well. The problem may be internal. It could be a staff person involved in this. Maybe you've got your ideas of what's going on here. Maybe you've seen something similar in a retail space that you go to. And this came out, I've been coming to this store since the early 80s. I know this store like the back of my hand, but I've never seen shoplifting on a scale as I've seen during 2022. That's been quite extraordinary to witness. There's a Hot Wheels 20 pack that I feature in this video, which already has 10 cars stolen from it and it was repriced, had the yellow tag on it. I went back to my local Kmart just as I was finishing off this video and the lowest of the lows act has happened to this, what used to be a 20 pack, which became a 10 pack. What I discover will become another video because I feel it just shows how desperate it's become at my local Kmart. I've never seen anything like this before.